Is your man a player? I mean, first of all, what is a player? There is a wide variety of definitions out there about what a player is, but one part is pretty consistent. Player is any guy who pretends to care about you, playing your emotions, typically just to get in bed with you. Now, it's not the sex that's the real issue, it's the lying, the false front, and the generally unsavory character that this behavior demonstrates that is the real problem with guys. So I'm going to give you five ways to spot the player before he does his damage. But first of all, why do guys do this? Why do men become players? Well, reason number one is he's usually love-starved. Early on in a guy's development, he craves the acceptance and love of his mom. It's almost a cliche now in psychology circles. It's a deep childhood need that we can't seem to shake. Uh, even worse, if he doesn't get that love, a guy's going to spend a good part of his life seeking it out. And frankly, if he didn't get it when he was a kid, if he didn't get what he needed, he's going to spend a great deal of his time acting out in search of it, and that's turning him into a player. Reason number two is he's underdeveloped. He's still stuck in that boy-man stage, that mama's boy stage, and he hasn't broken out of it yet. This is the kind of guy that it's usually just a case of bad timing or the case of he's never going to mature. And reason number three, he needs validation for a weak ego. If there's one part of this personality of the player that stands out, it's that the player needs validation badly. And he does it by trying to get sex. He needs to feel like he's worth something, so he puts another notch on the headboard to make himself feel better. Some of these guys just enjoy the feeling of proving that they can do what they were born to do, which is attract a woman. They just don't know how to do the next part, that tricky little relationship part. So let's jump into the first sign. The first sign he's a player is that he's slick and he is a real sweet talker. This guy comes across with a little bit of that used car salesman vibe, but he also manages to keep it in check with a little bit of the aw shucks Bill Clinton vibe. He knows how to say just the right thing to you, and it's hard to resist his patter, especially when he knows just the right bit of flattery that gets you to bite your lip and throw caution to the wind. Watch out for that signal. Signal number two is he's slippery as an eel. This guy knows how to evade almost any attempt to pin him down. He doesn't leave any trail. He seems to avoid all accountability while he's at it. He's also very good at hiding his phone and keeping your eyes off of the texting he's doing. And he, you never really know where he is or who he's out with. He knows how to duck and weave his way out of almost any situation, often with the perfect excuse. And it's an excuse you're going to find yourself wanting to believe more than you really believe. Signal number three, and this is a big one, the player pressures you for sex. He just can't seem to wait to get in the sack with you. If he handles it smoothly, it's going to feel like an overwhelming lust for you that you might find irresistible, and uh, he'll be overcome with desire. And if you're honest, hey, you know what? That'll turn you on. It's actually very appealing when a guy looks like he's that much under your spell. But the fact is that he'll put a lot of uncomfortable pressure on you to sleep with him. Heck, you might even want to go for it, which is perfectly fine until you realize that, well, that's all you might get from him. It'll feel different than your normal lust because it won't feel like he's drawn to you magnetically. It'll just feel like one of those wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of situations. Or maybe he'll just try to get you drunk and bypass all that messy stuff in between. He just wants to trigger you to be as impulsive as quickly as he can. Signal number four is it's been over six months and there's still no sign of you meeting his family. Look, if you've been dating this dude after half a year and you still haven't met his mom and she's still above ground and she's somewhere in your part of the country, something is up. Heck, in this day and age, he could at least Skype you two together on a video call. But guess what? A player is not going to want you to meet his family. As a friend of mine was once told, these moms get tired of the endless parade of women. So he'll just keep you at arm's length, hoping that you don't push too hard. And if you do push, he'll eventually just vaporize. And finally, signal number five, it never really gets past the sex. Sure, the boinking is fantastic, but you might be mistaking sexual intimacy for love. Among my female clients, this is a very common mistake they make with men. The intensity and passion in the bedroom is often misunderstood as being a real love connection. And this, of course, creates an intense feeling of, this is it, he's the one from the woman, while the guy just simply chalks it up to being chemistry. This is really important here. Most men are able to separate sexual intimacy from the deeper emotional connection of a relationship. And this creates a struggle for the woman because she feels that there's love where there's really only lust. Now, after all this talk about players, I gotta warn you that, and this is gonna come as a shock to most women, most guys aren't able to be players. They simply haven't got what it takes. And you're only gonna run into this player typically because he's more likely to approach you and chat you up. The genuine nice guys, the good guys out there, well, they're a little scared, they're a little afraid of rejection, and they're often very shy. 
So what happens is these players are the ones with the balls to come up and talk to you, which means you're going to run into them more often. But of course, if you find yourself running into guys that are consistently refusing to commit to you or stay in a relationship, you have to look at the dynamics of what your dating style is and how it works with guys. Sometimes because of bad information that you got from your mom or lack of good education on relationships, women will find the men she's with growing cold and distant. And it often looks like he's a player when he's not. Men give off very specific signals. They'll tell you immediately if they're a player or if they might be the one. If you want to know how to read his signals and know exactly what he's, what he's actually looking for from you, you got to read those signals. Go on over to datingadviceguru.com forward slash read his signals. It's datingadviceguru.com forward slash read his signals where you can find out if he really loves you or if he's just looking for a good time. This is Carlos Cavallo. I look forward to you seeing the next video. And I want you to go out there and live and love with passion.